I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Cliff, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Oh. I know you can't tell, because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? Yes! Yes, I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, just throw in the whole pot. Night time. Go. So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Uh, well, Tom. certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Oh, yeah. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Um... It does have a nice ring. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Right, no pun intended, right? Uh, let's put it together. Dad uh, can foot the bill. 
sentimental. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Ooh. Oh, I don't want to put a green light. Was it sure how to respond? I. Of course, I was gonna say yes. You dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Uh, I love you, so you can walk all over me. Uh, let's go with playful. Like a rug, so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh. Uh, mischievous. Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! We can't let them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. How do you know they were there? Did we hide them? All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the camera, isn't it? We took down. We're able to. We're doing anything with this? Oh. Why'd you do it on the dime? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the selfie that they took on the boat. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. That's the uh, thing, isn't it? Good pictures. Couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro, bro. Air rescue service. And uh, Conwyn Islands. Is that Cor Corwin? Corwin? Corwin Islands? I don't know. I could be pronouncing that wrong. Oh. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Oh, my bad. I was too busy looking at the pictures we took. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Say, that was the blood. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Is that right? Right, here. right now? He's like, I want fun times. He's always with the bees, isn't he? <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Did you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Um. Uh... You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Oh, that was sad and sarcastic. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. 
You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single All right, thing you bring back has an end. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Well, let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Oh, oh. Uh... I don't know. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Hmm. Just say nothing. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So. They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it, and he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, you dickhead. Oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You got a mass. One scary. Oh, come on, that wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in, there's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh, no, 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 because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh, <laughs> where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Storms coming in. We know what happened when there was another storm before.
the back. <gasps> Pirates. Gag, on gag. Um, let's go for him. <laughs> Easy. Right, can we get her now? Okay, can we get some information or something? Maybe we can speak to, um... You okay? I think so. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news Maybe. Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. Get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Investigate. Um, untie. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. Okay, right. We can't do everyone this time. I want to do a little bit of something. Oh, I feel like it's not good. Come on. something could have happened when we talked last time. <laughs> Bitch, you missed. Oh, fuck off. I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Uh oh. Fuck. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. I'm gonna say nothing. I'm gonna say nothing. We finish with the blade. I didn't want to piss him off. I don't want to get anyone killed. Guys, do me a favor. How many people do you think I'm going to serve, keep alive? Like, be on your best behavior, little man. Take your guesses who you think is going to 
Uh, surviving, who's not? Is it fun? Get off! Get off! <laughs> oh. <gasps> what? Oh, that was the image we saw on the uh, the photo. Julia, we're coming back. Okay, pretend you pretend you tied back up. Pretend you tied. Pretend you tied. Exactly what I would have done. They got scissors, aren't they? Hey, we we do nothing. We're we're tied up still. Oh Jesus, Conrad! Uh oh. Wait, wait, no, Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Don't get emotionally attached, my dude. Lipstick. Shut the fuck up. Lipstick? What? I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Oh, yeah, they don't know what technically is there, right? Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh. That was quick. Fuck. Motherfuckers. Hey, hey. Are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. Oh. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Uh, these fuckers need to pay. Uh, I can get on that boat. Uh, be optimistic. I don't want to. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get Seven to the seconds. boat. Seven seconds, right, guys. Let's do it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Go fuck yourself. Tommy, now! Uh, escape. You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! I, I didn't want to go for the attack. Oh! I missed it because I pressed start! Oh, fuck. 
I pressed. The rest of the job. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. Fuck. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! It's such a woman. Coward? What are you looking for? Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian gold? Huh? Gold? a bit edgy right he looks really edgy like a little bit shaken like he might accidentally pull the trigger at one point and kill one of my men all right you gave me your best shot all right shut the fuck up okay there is no harm in just talking you want to talk keep the volume down i'm just gonna say it Flitz has got to be in on this. Oh. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I was going enraged, right? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole. You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, so. Okay, okay. Put a cork in it. Put a cork in it. Oh. oh. Sit still, all of you. Why, why did you not move? You got magnetic boots. You. Come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. No funny you business. Try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. You also mean your eye. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Uh. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Uh, serious problems. My, uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious problems with. Hey, just be careful. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I need to be on edge like all the time, like be prepared. Wait! What are you doing? Oh, I just got the ball off. Yeah, just cut it all Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, hey, no, no, no. Move it. Wait, what did... Hey, things are being shaken. Where's, uh, where's, where's your brother? Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. Shh. Don't say out too loud. Optimistic he could be. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Yeah, I think I think we keep him hidden. I think we take the risk. It's only a bit of water, right? He's not gonna fucking drown under the bed. Oh shit! Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Oh, uh, forewarned is for uh, what will... Confident. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. What do you mean? Probably shouldn't have said that. 